All right, so let's say we wanted to do some unit conversion. Um, unit conversion just means we're turning one type of unit into another type of unit. Um, metric system, we have an example of some things when we're talking about metric right here. Uh, that has to do with length, weight, and volume. We've got meters, grams, and liters. When we're talking about customary, we're talking about like this stuff right here. So feet, inches, yards, miles, um, all those things that we use in the United States. Um, so if we're doing that, we want, and this is a common thing you'll have to do. I've got some steps over here. We can use ratios or sort of think about proportional relationships um, in order to do this. So let's say, for example, we had a problem and we had five meters and we wanted to turn that into millimeters. Okay, into how many millimeters is that? Now, if you understand the metric system well, you can probably do this in your head and you know right away. But if you're trying to think of, wait, do I divide? Do I multiply? What do I do? I recommend following these steps that I have right here. Step number one, create a ratio of what you have over what you want to turn it into. So I have five meters. I'm gonna put that over a unknown amount of millimeters. And I'm gonna put X millimeters to make that make sense. Then I'm gonna put an equal sign right here. And that says identify, step two, identify the unit conversion rate for those two units. I'm gonna look at this little table right here. Again, ideally you have know this stuff and you can memorize it, but if you don't, I've got millimeters and meters. Well, it's an M and an MM. So I can see actually two places in my chart. I've got that one, that first one, and that second one. Now both those have millimeters and meters. I could use either of those. Now, I don't know about you, but I would prefer not to use a one millimeter equals one thousandth of a meter with a bunch of decimals and zeros. I think it's gonna be a little easier to use that first one. So I'm gonna keep that one in mind. Um, and I'm gonna say, notice that one meter is 1,000 millimeters. So step three, create a ratio using that unit conversion rate that matches the placement of units in your first ratio. So my first ratio, I have meters on the top. I'm gonna keep meters on the top and millimeters on the bottom. So I have one meter is 1,000 millimeters. Okay, so now that is my proportional ratio. And if I wanna solve for X, again, I could do a couple different ways that I could solve it. One way is I could just simply sort of cross multiply and divide. So I've got X times one equals X. We've got five times 1,000. So that means X equals 5,000. So 5,000, if we were to put that, we could put that back in here and we have 5,000 millimeters. So five meters is 5,000 millimeters. Okay, we can also use this if we have something, let's say we're working another way, we'll do one more example. If I had 17, all right, 17 liters, actually let's go with 17 milliliters. 17 milliliters equals how many liters? I'm gonna follow these same steps. Um, I'm gonna look over here in my table and I wanna look for the milliliters and liters. Um, so let's see, I've got milliliters and liters right here or milliliters and liters right here. Again, one of these is gonna be a little bit easier to look at than the other one. The one with the thousand um, is gonna probably be a little bit easier math. So I'm gonna set up my ratio. So I have 17 milliliters over X liters equals 1000 milliliters is gonna go on the top to match up my units and one liter is gonna go on the bottom. Again, to remember exactly what we do, we can cross multiply those. That gives me 1000 X equals uh, 17, because 17 times one. Now, if I wanna solve for X, I have to divide by 1000 on the left side and also divide by 1000 on the right side. That'll cancel out those thousands and isolate the X. But remember, if you're ever dividing, by a thousand, you can just count the zeros. I can see there are one, two, three zeros right there. And I'm gonna move, so I write 17, and I'm gonna move the test point three places to the left for the three zeros. One, two, three. Now in that empty space right there, I'm gonna add a zero. So I get 0 0.017 um, would be our answer. So up here, 17 milliliters is equal to 0. 0.017 liters, All right? So you just took that and we put that up there. So and to solve these, you think of what you have, what you want to turn it into, 
you look at your conversion chart or if you know the conversion and you just put that on the right hand side we'll do a quick example of some customary unit ones let me just erase all this stuff right here we can just do this and we will delete that okay so if we were doing customary units customary units are just known as any of these things that a few places in the world including the united states use feet inches yards cups fluid ounces gallons quarts now the bummer about the customary units is they're not that easy to memorize because if you look at the metric system it all makes sense it's all hundreds thousands and tens whereas the customary system uses all kinds of kind of arbitrary numbers um, so if you're not from the united states and you're not used to them it's probably gonna be a little bit harder for you but let's look right here let's say for example we had a problem and our problem was two cups equals how many fluid ounces and so i would again look at my chart right here i want to find cups and fluid ounces there it is right there so i can set up my ratio two cups over x fluid ounces equals and I, again i always like to write my units so then it keeps track of where i put stuff is that one cup over eight fluid ounces i'm going to solve for x i'm just going to cross multiply x times one is x equals two times eight two times eight and that's going to give me x equals 16. so that means that we have 16 fluid ounces we'll do one last example Let's say if I had something like 2.4 pints equals how many gallons? Okay, so I'm gonna look down at my table and I'm gonna notice something down here that I've got, let's see, I've got gallons equals quarts, I've got quarts equals pints, but I don't see how many pints go in a gallon. Now this might happen sometimes and you might have to come up with the unit conversion yourself. So let's see if we can think about this, if we know one gallon has four quarts and each quart has two pints that would mean that one gallon would have to equal eight pints okay because again four quarts and then since there are two pints in a quart so one gallon is eight pints so i'm gonna so again sometimes you'll just have to look at that and kind of try to make sense of it and think about what goes into what i'm gonna put my 2.4 pints over x gallons i'm going to put my equal sign i'm going to match up my ratio of one gallon and eight pints making sure i put the one gallon on the bottom to match up my units and the eight pints on the top i'm going to cross multiply those so that's eight times x equals 2.4 times one i want to solve for x so i'm going to have to isolate the variable by dividing both sides by eight that cancels the x is there and gives me x. 2.4 divided by eight is a quick bit of some decimal division. Goes in three times, minus 24 equals zero. Our decimal point goes straight up. So x equals 0 0.3. And I'm gonna take that, put that right back up into my problem. So 0 0.3 gallons would be our final answer. Okay, so again, metric conversion, customer unit conversion, Set it up what I have over what I want to turn it into. Look up at your unit conversion chart and just set it equal and solve for the unknown.